Okay. <laughs> oh, the camera's flipped over. <laughs> anyway, they're all here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, one, two. So they're all here having a bit of a meal. And I'm gonna go and start clipping some of the brambles from around the water tank. You can see the fresh water is still flowing, even though a lot of other stuff is frozen. Actually, it's not very frozen at the moment. I should go and check if there's any dung beetle movement, because whenever it's not frozen, dung beetles come out, believe it or not. But I'm going to come up here. Look at this. A little feather hanging off of the branch. Anyway. See, the brambles have overgrown a lot of the access and they could easily tangle a sheep. So you can see the dogs at the fence line. So I need to chop that all back and it's overhanging the tank. So if a sheep fell in, it wouldn't be able to walk up the pathway to get out if it fell in. And I have lost sheep to brambles in the water tank. So I better get to work on this clearing. I'll do a bit every day. The yos have all come up to get their drink of water after eating their meal. And some of them have started eating the brambles that I've been pruning away from the water tank. They might not like the prickles, but they might like the bit of green. So we'll see what happens. But it's going to take a while for me to make a dent in this. It's quite hairy brambles, is all I can say. There she goes. A little bit eating some bramble. Clever girl. Do some cleanup job there. <laughs> sorting out where the prickles are for it to eat the leaves. Delicately picking leaf by leaf. So each leaf has four aspects to it and she's nibbling off each one. Well, that one she ate off whole. Carefully munching it. <laughs> Yeah, there, leaf by leaf, part of leaf by part of leaf to avoid the prickles. Ooh, now you're gonna get caught in it. Luckily, it's all pruned. Oh, maybe you're not. Here comes Ebony. She's gonna try some as well. Tomorrow, there will probably be a lot of sheep with bits of bramble hanging off of them from this pile. You're already doing it. <laughs> I stand back to admire the, um, <laughs> the deep rambling I've been doing. And look who arrives and jumps on my shoulder. Anyway. There's the brambles that I still have to attack. And there you can see the brown bit all right along there is what I've done. And uh, thankfully time has arrived when I finished the section I wanted to do. I wanted to do from that stake <laughs> all the way to just about there. Now look, I'm not strong enough in my arm to do that, to hold you up like that. 
Really, honestly. You're such a cat. You're such a cat. Using me as a totem for a bath. Hmm. Just what I need. <laughs> anyway, I've got to move that pile of brambles because I've cleared out. Oh, down you go. I've cleared out the place where sheep tend to go to get trapped and drown. See, this is the smaller tank. You can see the runoff there. There's the bigger tank and the runoff. And what's happened in the past is a sheep has gone to drink here and got tangled up and drowned in that corner there. So I've basically, um, I had another one drown at the far end, kind of where the cat is now, except in there. So I'm, uh, I've done cleared up to that section. So won't have any drowning stock, hopefully, unless there's a really stupid sheep. So I'm just gonna take this and shift it over. You can see I've dragged other brambles over there. But I think I've done my, there's a bit of brambles there. A pile of lovely dry kindling over there. So. Is it mucky? It's very muddy, isn't it? Very muddy for cats. Look at you carefully, carefully walking through the mud. He's going like, how did you get over there? So carefully walking through the mud. <laughs> he's like, if a cat could walk on their tippy toes, that's what he's doing. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's mucky muddy. <laughs> the one paw hanging in the air. Oh, yucky, mucky muddy. Is it mucky? It's like, I don't want to get my feet wet. I don't want to get my feet wet across that stream. You gonna drink? Yeah, having a drink. Clever kitty, lovely fresh water. Okay, I'm going to let the cat drink. Look at the dog and move this big pile of brambles and fish out. There's bits of bramble that have fallen in there. Fish that out and then I'll call it a day. So I've cleared up the detritus that fell in the palms and I've been rejoined by Ebony <laughs> and Little Bit and Ebony is taking half of the stuff away from with her. Ebony, hold on a sec. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Ebony! No. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> She's trying to escape it. Oh, hang on a bit. Hang on a little bit. No, I mean Ebony. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Well, there's a little bit stuck on your side. Let me see if you'll let me get that off. Hey girl, can I take that little bit off? Ah, oh, got it. There we go. Oh no, you just got tangled up in the bit that I took off of Ebony. Little bit, really? Did you have to do that? Come on, you're getting tangled in that bit. There we go sheep. I mean, who'd have them? Look, they all think there's more food down there. Hey, Brindle, leave it. Well, these bits, I guess, are going to get all over the place across the field. You're ferocious. While I've been doing that debrambling. The sheep have spread out across the field. A lot of them have collected around the hay bale. Oh, they all think I'm going to feed them again. And I only just gave them food a 
a little while ago. Always expectant. Look at them. All across the horizon, from all the way there, all the way down there, looking to see if I'm going to be getting any more food for them. Isn't that right, little bit? Sorry, ladies. I'm not getting you any more food. Afraid not. <laughs>